This is Scott from KIG. This is our final video on this 25 ton carrier aqua snap with a low temperature option. Uh, we have the set point at 14F and right now it's uh, staying at about 15F. That's the entering water temperature. The leaving water temperature is about 13.7. Now the reason there's just such a small difference right now is this machine has minimum load control or hot gas bypass and because we have such a small load or almost no load as we get to that uh, as we get to that set point um, it goes in that hot gas bypass mode to minimize the amount of uh, starts and stops uh, for the compressor the, uh, in a real environment with a uh, larger load um, you probably won't see it behaving this, this way as we see it right now. Uh, but uh, everything's working really good. Again, so you have 13.7 F uh, leaving water temperature. 14.9 went down another little bit while I was here uh, entering water temperature. Um, you can see some frost is starting to build up on the pipes. Call tank 15F. Oh, also worth noting is with the pumps that are in this carrier chiller, uh, we're running, we put on a flow meter. You can just see that line here. Oh, sorry. We're at about 80 GPM. And the chiller itself takes two inch, two inch uh, connections, inlet and outlet. And if you use the storage tank underneath, those happen to be two and a half. And in the manual, it shows you how to pipe all that. If you're going to go use much smaller connections on your process, you'll probably want to pipe in a uh, bypass somewhere to ensure proper flow over the fluid to refrigerant heat exchanger inside the chiller. Uh, but this unit runs great. It has been running great. We're going to keep it running for a couple days at this uh, 14F set point. Uh, just let it cycle on and off, see how it, see how it does in preparation for uh, the customer who's going to buy this. One last thing, the storage tanks underneath, there's two of them. They're cylindrical. Uh, up on the top section, you can't really see, there's a little needle valve to get air out of them. And on the bottom section, there's a little drain valve. Again, this is Scott from KIG. Our website is KIGSales.com.